Hey guys, Chris Negley with Elegant Estates. Uh, I wanted to take a quick second and talk to you about artillery fungus, what it is and why it's an issue. All right, so when we wash houses, uh, we have it in our quotes that uh, if there is artillery fungus on your house, then to not expect it to come off. Um, artillery fungus is basically just that. It's a fungus that grows in your wood mulch. And what it does is it actually um, it shoots its spores up out of this fungus and it attaches to the side of the house. Um, again, this is my horticultural nerdiness coming out on me. Um, but basically what it does is it attaches to the side of your house and you'll get all these little specks. These specks, I mean, even if you scrape the actual spore off, you're still left with that residue. Um, and that will not come off of there. And then it becomes even a greater issue when you have contractors that'll tell you that, yeah, we can take care of that. We'll just put more pressure on the side of the house and we'll try to blast them off. Well, even high pressure is still going to leave some issues with just a little bit of that debris left so you'll still notice a spot and it becomes a greater issue too um, when you put high pressure on siding to try to get the artillery fungus off because if you have siding like this particular project here there's a lot of oxidation on the side of the house or on the side of this church actually um, so if you're trying to get the artillery fungus off and you put a lot of pressure on everything you know that's this high and down and actually it'll shoot up to the second story we've seen it but if you put a lot of pressure on there you're actually removing oxidation and that's the faded paint layer of the siding so if you pull that off then you have striping all over the place where your wand was removing high pressure um, or removing the artillery fungus with high pressure you're removing that oxidation and now you have bright spots bright lines bright patches wherever that high pressure hits you're removing the oxidation now you have a bright spots everywhere and it looks terrible uh, and then what that causes is it leads us to uh, have to do a restoration on the vinyl and then you have to remove the entire layer of oxidation all the way through that entire wall or the entire building god help us um, and that is never fun and it's very expensive and usually it's jobs where we just walk away from that we don't even necessarily want to offer it because it's labor intensive it's really not worth it for us to do it um, so that's my plea for uh, people wanting to use high pressure whether it's a homeowner or um, your buddy from down the road or another professional try to keep with the soft washing especially if you have oxidation on the side of your house otherwise you're gonna have major issues and you will not be happy with the results when it's all done and nine times out of ten, it's a result of paint on the side of the house or artillery fungus that people think that as long as I put more pressure to it, it'll come off. I'm telling you right now, it will not. It's designed to stick. It will always have an issue there. Um, unfortunately, that's just the nature of it. It's a fungus. It's going to grow, especially where there's consistently mulch. Uh, there's not really a good cultural way of, of eliminating that. So... Um, other than just don't over mulch. <laughs>